I'm recording this because I don't think I've ever actually seen the fish biting before. This is kind of cool. I'm using a bolognese rod. I don't really know what I'm doing. I say that a lot in this video. And there we go. And he's taken it and we got him. How about that? That is a first. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I've never seen the fish actually take the bait like that before. How about that? We're on Belaya River. I don't like it very much. Yeah, I'm not sure about this bolognese casting. It's a little confusing. I think you open the bale to let it float. It floats a lot slower than when you're using uh, just a regular float fishing. Um, so I think you close the, the open the bale so that, you know, like, look, say you're a little bit tight like that. Open the bale and it should just have no problem taking as much line as it needs. And then I assume as soon as you start getting a nibble, you would close the bail, and then you've got to set the hook on this. That's right. The strange thing is when I went to set this up, you can take the rod, and you can choose what rig setup you want. It didn't allow me to choose a bolognese, bolognese rig, but this is one. It's got the reel, I cast it out, it's got the float, it's got everything it needs, so... I'm not quite sure what that means. And I have three points in bolognese, not that I put them in there, it's just... I think from leveling up. So I'm not quite sure how it works. Let's see if we get a nibble on this. That's so cool. I saw the fish just, it kind of rushed in from the side, went, went straight over to my uh, bait, just started nibbling on it, and then took it. It's great. Can't want anything. Anything? Open the bale up. In theory, that's just taking as much line as it likes, right? Like if I close the bale, it's going to get tighter and tighter. Yeah. And then if I open the bale, it should just pull it out, yeah. Pulls out as much line as it needs. There you go. Alright, well, not much biting here. So, I've had a quick look around Belaya River. Don't like it very much. At all. Um, there's just kind of nothing here. I mean, it's just this tiny... Look, look at the map again. It's this tiny little island you're on. You can get onto this thing here, but there's nothing different. There's just a few grass reeds here, there's a bush here, and I think one here. That's it. There's really nothing else. It's kind of it's pretty disappointing. Um, I guess it's a spin river. You use it for spinning rods, or they have fly fishing in this game. Probably not the real name of it. Let's see what happens if I cast as far out as I can, which is not very far. Hey, you see how much slower that's moving than when I was using the float rod? Uh, oh, actually, I didn't record that. <laughs> Trust me, it's moving slower than the, float, the regular float rod. That kind of goes down the river real quick. What's that fish I caught? Oh, I left fish in my net. <laughs> oh, bummer. Well, they're all dead now, aren't they? So try, let me try go try and fish them, just in case. Why is it going so slow? Retrieval speed. Yeah. I think all of these fish are dead. <laughs> they don't smell too good. It's very pretty. Once again, it's kind of, you know, looks spectacular. Let's see, will they buy any of those fish? Well, they're, they're still worth something. It's just, I assume, a hell of a lot less. Yeah, you can have my stinky fish. Yeah, I mean, it's still, it's beautiful, right? I mean, look at this. Turn off my flashlight. Look at that. Beautiful. But, 
not much fun fishing. I mean, maybe it is, really is just, you know, you got to spin. That's what this is for. Have a quick look again, what does it say? It's float, bottom, spinning. Yeah, it's all about the spinning. Alright, maybe I will... Can I... Put that down, see what happens. Might be a bit too dark. A bit too early in the morning or late at night, however you want to look at it. Oh, hang on. I they're going too fast. For uh, spinning, but we'll give it a go. See if we get anything. Friction, not there. I want to see a fish come all the way up here, like I did with the bolognese rod. Come on, come on, come on. Something take it. No. And I like that I can watch the bolognese rod float by. While I reel in. I mean, that's the other thing. I spent a very small amount of time, admittedly, but I, there's nothing here. There's no fish buying either. It almost feels like this This is like still in development. <laughs> Anything? Anything want to bite on that? No. Can you set the depth? Yeah, you can. So I can still set the depth. Maybe I should be doing that. Let's set it pretty deep. It's kind of hard to see, but it's out there. Come on. It's not a float river. It's not what it's for. Yeah, man. It's not a flow river. That's my experience. That's my words. My wise words from years of fishing, you know. Really not crazy about this river. Okay. Uh, let me have a show. I'll give you a quick show around, though. So, uh, so this is the far end. Um, again, very pretty. Really, very pretty. But you can run across this little gap here. Shoop. Come over here to the Northern Island, as it's called, which is hysterical. Hey, look at that. That looks awesome. I do kind of want to cast my spin. I wish I had longer spin because I think it would be great to do like a massive cast and just trawl all the way back. Or pull the lure all the way back. Let's see anything? Anything feel like having a bit of a nibble? Fishy, fishy, fishy. Oi, fishy. Got something. It's a little thing. What is it? Oh, it's a baby. It's a perch. There we go. One perch. I just doubled my fish count. I was looking into buying some new gear as well, but it feels like you need to take a big jump in level. Like I had about 400, maybe a bit less now, silver. Um, so I was thinking, hey, I could get a really nice rod, but you really can't. I mean, you have to re re a nice reel. It's a big jump. You have to start getting up into the 800,000 silver before you can get really good stuff. There is a kit. There's like the pro kit or whatever. And I might just go to that rather than trying to find out what all this gear does. 
I might just buy a pro kit when I have 800 silver. Which, I mean, at the current rate, won't take long, will it? Now, I'm starting to feel the grind a bit with this game already. Um, and I think a lot of it is because you unlock uh, Old Berg, which is great, and this, when you hit 12. And this is a throwaway for me. It's like, this is... There's no excitement in this. So all I have now is Old Berg, and I've got to grind out, I think, another four levels before I see a new environment. And, I don't know... I might need a bit more variety. I guess, I, I mean, I can go back to Mosquito Lake. I really like Mosquito Lake. I just feel that there's nothing on this river. Nothing here. Okay, so this that's the uh, North Island, they say. Population none. And that's it. I mean, up here, it basically looks the same. Look, it's just a couple of rocks, a few grass banks. You know, these these buildings are all what you'd expect. They have like a cafe. You can play music here. Where'd it go? There it is. Here, watch. Let's play some music. Can you hear that? Kicking groove. And you can strum the guitar. I think there's also actually one of those in the very first map. That's my wife doing her thing. That's pretty much it. And then... Oh. Oh, I didn't. I thought I'd cast onto that rock, but... Um, I suck at casting. So I don't need to worry. Let's see. It's my wife singing. Yeah. Nothing here. So, um, I would say give this one a miss. Not worth your money. And I never hear anyone talk about it in chat. Right? No one ever says, like, hey, I'm heading out to Belaya River. People talk about the other ones, Old Berg, Mosquito Lake, or the, obviously the higher level ones all the time. Hey, I wonder if I can get all the way over there, though. So, we're near the south end of the river. Can I cast that far? Let's get my... Uh long caster out bait not chosen oh I took the reel off it didn't I <laughs> I took the reel off of it so that I could try the uh, bolognese rod so let's disassemble that let's go back to this wait no that's that's assembled Is that the Paternoster rig? I think that is. Oops, that's why. Well, anyway, for even from that cast, it was clear I was ne never going to make it across there. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm a fool. Did I just catch a fish with my bottom feeder? I caught a Xander. I think that's a new fish for me. Um, oh, no. I'm on my real fish. Okay. Hmm, it's confusing. Karma Comfort. Oh, that's weird. This is my bottom feeder, isn't it? So yeah, look, if I I'll show let me show you. If I go to my um Bolognese rig, there's nothing on it. Look, if I want to change my rig, it won't let me do it. And I have all of the gear. And if I look in my skill set, I have bolognese. I can use it. Oh wait, fishing with a bolognese rod using a bolognese rig. Okay. Don't know what the difference is, but okay. All right, let's try casting out with that paternoster. Let's see how far it goes. Go on, son. Not far at all. Alright, well we'll leave it there. I just want to show you around Belaya, such as it is, and show you that fish, that cool fish coming up. And then, um, 
I don't think I missed anything. Yep. Cool view. Ah, now I could probably reach over there, right? Yeah, surely. Yeah, it's, it's further than they think, you know, water. Let's see if the bottom feeders catch anything on this river. Okay, so that's in. I want to assemble. Oh, but that's the one that's in. Let me assemble. Why is it not letting me, uh... Oh, bottom fishing, that's why. Basic bottom rig. See, it's not letting me lock that either. Huh. Is it the rod? Is there something wrong with this rod that I don't know about? That's in the water. Basic. Oh, I've got the wrong rod. I wish you could rename them. It's confusing as hell. <laughs> it is. Alright, we'll pick that reel. We'll pick... Put the 5 kilogram... My indicator. Yeah, that's annoying, but it didn't tell you that. Sinker. Let's go big. Let's go bold. Leader? No, we don't have that yet. Hook. Eight. Going for it. Worm. I only have one worm left? Oh, I have loads of these. We're going big. Going big. Alright, let's see if I can get it all the way across. Go on. Not bad, pretty close, right? All right, let's see if this... Okay, that's those two set up, and then... Now I need to set up my, uh, wait, that's my float, that's my bolognese, that's my spinning rig, that's my reel, okay, 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 got it. 10 pound line. Let's try this again. Pick up. There we go. Now it's daylight. something on the bottom rig finally that's good anything on the spinning it could also be that my spinning is too low for this level of river so I need to get it up on the other on mosquito and um, well that's it mosquito <laughs> I just want something to hit that line, right? Come on, something hit. Two fish. Oh, I missed it. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's three. It's definitely three. Okay, let's get this uh, lure in. We'll pick up that. What should we go for? I think I'm going to go for a 43 gram. I don't think it's Rufy. I've been calling him Rufy. <laughs> Ruffy. It's small, whatever it is. Oh, there's something on the other one, too. Oh, no. Picked up the wrong rod. Fool! That's all right, I think we're done. I think we're going to go back to where the real fishing is. No, I don't want to do that. Come here. Number two. Two. No, nothing on this either now. Yeah. That's weird. It's ringing a lot and I've got nothing. 
All right, well, I think that tells us pretty categorically that we're just about done with this lake, this river. Yeah, we're done. All right, we're going to find somewhere better to fish. And I uh, probably won't come back until I've leveled up a bit if I keep playing. So you never know, this could be the last video. All right. Good luck, go fishing!